<laughs> All right, you comfy? Well, now I gotta get my phone out. Hold on. Okay. Okay, look serious. Here we go. Okay, ready? Hey, everybody. Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Isn't It Romantic? And I bought, brought my best friend with me. Hi. Yep, she's back again. It's been a while. So uh, she wanted to come down and see what I was going, what was going on. So, isn't it romantic? Is about a girl who has finally given up on love, but finds herself in a romantic comedy. It, it stars Rebel Wilson, Liam Hemsworth, Adam Devine, Devine and um, Parinka Shapura. Um, I think she she's been a, in a lot of different things and um, really good actress. Anyway. Um, so IMDb gave this a 6.2, which is pretty high that I, I'm surprised about. Out of 7,000 people have reviewed it. So we're going to get into watching it a little bit here. It's an hour and 28 minute film. And uh, from time to time we'll check in and tell you how it's going, tell you what the plot is really about, and tell you what we think about it. What do you think? You're not going to watch the movie, are you? Sort of. Sort of. All right. Well, we're going to turn it on right now and we'll check in in a little bit. All right. Bye. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Isn't It Romantic? Sorry, no check-in tonight because I usually do the check-ins to describe to you what the uh, movie is really about and, I, and what they describe to you in IMDb is right on with what the movie's about. Rebel Wilson is a girl struggling in love, struggling, not struggling in life so much she can't present. She's a, an, excuse me, an architect that has a hard time presenting her ideas. Um, she, her best friend is Adam Devine, um, and the big boss of the whole thing is Liam Hemsworth, and she has a best friend uh, who, or I'm sorry, a girlfriend um, that she's with. She also has a neighbor um, who she barely knows. You know, but so what happens is she, they're showing her life and you know how uh, she's not finding love and can't present and you get an introduction to all the characters and all of her all of the people around her and then she gets mugged in the subway hits her head and uh, goes unconscious and that's when she now enters the rom-com and uh, you know all the characters kind of change and she gets into you know she starts you know a love interest with Liam Hemsworth's character. Meanwhile, you know, Adam Devine, or Devine, I'm not sure which one it is, but you know who he is. I think he's funny. Um, he is, uh, you know, still her best friend, but he's starting to date somebody else, and so that's the whole rom-com normal plot line for all of this, and they go through all of that, and, and she kind of realizes that she's been placed in this thing, and, and that it's a rom-com, and how can she get out of it she has to fall in love, or somebody has to fall in love with her to get out of it. That's the whole plot line, okay? So I think we've covered that enough. Let's talk a little bit about the movie itself. Um, Rebel Wilson, you know, when she first hit the scene, very funny. Um, and then over time, her act kind of got, I don't know, kind of wore on me a little bit, I thought. Um, taking it too far and things like that. And this one, I don't think so. I think she did a good job of... You know, being funny at the right times and not over the top. I think in some of the other things, they, they try and take advantage of how funny she is and they overdo it. And I don't think she did that in this case. I thought she did a good job, or whoever wrote it did a good job of making sure that she was funny in spots. I mean, now it's not an over the top hilarious movie, but again, in her character and, and what she brought to the screen, it didn't wear on me like other films had. Same thing with Adam. And his character, he's his natural self. Again, not over the top, just enough humor to make it palatable, um, is what I'm going to say. So, I did like that. I liked Liam Hemsworth's character when he was in the rom-com. First, he's a billionaire, kind of stuck up. And then he's like a, a romantic kind of guy. Um, and there are some funny scenes with him, like, uh, you know, when he's on the phone with his dad kind of thing. That, that, that made me giggle. And in the beginning, there were a couple laugh out loud giggles or giggle out loud I would say that that had me chuckling um you know and I don't want to share them all with you because I think that's the best part of this movie <clears throat> but they go throughout the movie making it seem doing all the cliches there in a romantic comedy 
um, right down to the soundtrack. The soundtrack was like dead on, um, and they just hit all the other spots. The dancing scenes, you know, where everybody's choreographed together. The slow motion scenes, um, the the montages of people getting ready, that kind of stuff. It's all throughout there. It's it's like that. So they're really mocking romantic comedies in this, and so. I thought it was interesting. It kind of like uh, reminds me of like scary story you know, a little bit um, when they were doing those things. Um, overall, it was okay. It wasn't great. I think um, I think I laid out everything to you. There's nothing really fancy about the plotline. An interesting concept on how she switched worlds and has to get out of it. We've seen that, but it happens to be a romantic comedy. Um, and I talked a little bit about the the characters and the actors, and I thought. You know, they did an okay job. Let me see if I took any other notes. No, that was really it. That's everything for you. I don't think I missed anything. Keep the review short tonight. I think it's worth a watch. I don't think it's something that you want to move up in your wish list. But uh, if you have the opportunity to see it, check it out. Uh, below 7, maybe a 6. Maybe a 5, 5 or 6. I know that sounds pretty bad what I'm saying. You should check it out. But... There are a couple of laughs in it, um, and uh, because of that, I think it's worth watching if you, if you like comedies and if you're somewhat still entertained by Rebel Wilson and Adam Devine. So, and Liam Hemsworth. So he's he's in it and he does a pretty good job too. So that's it. That's enough from me. Uh, I don't think I left anything out. If I think of anything else, I'll come back and and check in real quick. But for now, that's it. That's what I got for you. You know, if you check it out, let me know. Love to hear your comments. Let me know what you think of the movie. Did I miss anything? Um, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. All that stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.